I came across an online forum where one stay-at-home mom admitted that she was tired and burned out. The mom said she feels guilty for her outburst and require, requesting a break from childcare because her husband works 12 hours a day. She said, I'm not working or even keeping up with housekeeping tasks or cooking meals. She wrote, I literally only take care of our baby and our dog. So ladies, is it okay for a stay-at-home parent to request help around the house from their working mate? You got the kids. What you Listen to me. This is weird. When I was married and the boys were toddlers, when I knew it was time for Mike to come home, I'd be out the window like this, waiting for him. <laughs> like, if he was in the car on the call, I'd be like, get in here. <laughs> get in here. Because I needed a break. Yeah. I needed a break. It's hard, you guys. Yeah. Even if you're home, and if you have somebody come in and help you for a couple of hours, it's really hard. But my thing when I read this story, I felt like, where's the dad spending time with the kid? Yeah. Like, I didn't feel like he made, he carved out time for yeah. his bonding with his child. And also, as a couple, where's their time? Because she's saying he works 12 hours. When he right. has his free time, he's playing video games. Well, where's the family unit? And I feel like exactly. it's okay. He should bathe the child mm -hmm. once in a while. Read a, you know, take, I'll put him to sleep tonight. You go have a glass of wine. Let me read a book. Let me put them to bed. I, there's got to be. They need a family meeting. Yeah, That's they do. Yeah, yeah they like do. A, they need to a, figure a out a plan that works for them. Yeah. 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 I think the weird part about this was, did you see she's like, I don't do anything else. Yeah. I don't wash dishes. I don't. But that was that was weird, no? Yeah. Like, I was like, you don't do any of the housework? Just the baby she and the dog? She just plays with the baby? I'm like, Lord, that sounds like an amazing, like. She must have help. Well, if, then, if she doesn't, who cleaning the house? Well, unless that, he comes home and, and, and does he it. works yeah. all day long. So that that's the only part that here that was a little weird to me. I was like, okay, if you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe you do, you know, share some of the chores. Maybe he can do some of it. Maybe you can. But for her to say, I don't do any of that. Right. All I do is the baby and the dog. That was a little weird to me. Yeah, I agree. But um, I think it's not, it's not about that he shouldn't help. It's how she's going about asking for mm. it. I think if she if she said, you know what, you did work 12 hours. You can take an hour yeah. to yourself to decompress. To, like your mom used to say, mm -hmm. I just need an hour. Give me yeah. an hour. An hour to scroll the phone, to take a nap. And then after the hour, babe, I would love to go take a bath. Yeah. Can you take over? And yeah. you, this is now your shift. Yeah. And I'd like to now have my moment or my hour to myself. Right. But it's about a conversation. I think if you're demanding something and you're acting like, well, this is, I don't think you're going to get your way. And I think everyone's going to be offended. Yeah. Everyone's going to be offended if you come out like yeah. that. And they need to stop thinking that people that stay at home and watch their kids don't are not work. working. working. They work. They're they doing the hardest job. Because they don't the get the break job. if they have to watch the kids, exactly. you know, from the time that you're at. So it's like everybody yeah. needs a break. So, yeah. you know, the, the purpose of family is for everybody to help each yes. other. Yes. It's not for us to be taking turns and you do this. No, no. Y'all right. work it out. Y'all a family. Have a family meeting. Yep. Work it out. Let's do some schedules. Everybody be happy, That's okay? Right. Yeah, that. That's right. Now, up next, I came across a recent online discussion where one user pose this question. Do you have an online friend whom you've never met in person? So ladies, do you have a best friend in your head? And if so, who is it and why? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Alicia Keys. I love me some Ooh! Alicia Keys. Oh, I love this oh, oh my God. Look at me looking at her. I'm like, oh. <laughs> she's my best friend. She's my lover. She's my everything. Oh my God. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Okay. Because Janet Jackson actually ended up saying that if she was to be in a woman in yeah. the, with a woman in the industry, that she would choose Alicia Keys. Yeah. yeah. Alicia was very flattered by this. You even posted this to tell her happy birthday. I did. I, saw I love her. I, I thought y'all were like, friends. No, well, no. I, when I see her, she's very gracious, and we say yeah. hi, and we're happy to see each other. But I just feel like she would be such a cool chick to go yeah. have lunch with, go work out with, you know, just hang out. I love her mind. I love her music. I love her spirit. Oh, my god. I goodness. think we'd be really good friends. That. That's it, my, the best friend in my head, Rihanna. I, oh. It's something about Riri. I just love her. When love she announced Riri. her pregnancy, I'm up here posting. Like, you know, I'm her sister. She's you like, know? Auntie Lonnie. I, 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 Auntie I know Lonnie. people like, they tired of her. I'm like, I just love her. I think she's a dope boss chick. Mm -hmm. I like the way that she's handled her relationships. I feel like she's taking her time. I feel like she's always been her own person. Yeah. And I admire that so much about her. And a person I really think that I've actually met, that I've just, every time I see her, I say, you know you're my best friend, Michelle Obama. Oh, yeah. Every time I see Michelle, you my, you my, I saw her in Hawaii. Yes. Michelle, let's take a picture. You're my best friend. <laughs> I love it. She like, OK, Lottie, calm down. How the girls? I she always say, how the girls? Oh, so they good. So, you know. Sweet. It's so weird. Um, I actually love to follow just like 
average influencers on Instagram or people yeah. that are just impactful beauty influencers and things like that. So my first one was Desi Perkins, who I would DM with all the time and like oh. chat with her. She's a beauty influencer. Yeah. And we actually met her at the um, People's Choice Awards. Yeah. It was my first time. I remember. So moving on, I have a new best friend in my head because now oh. me and Desi are actually friends in real life. Okay. And it is British ITV host Rochelle Gooms. I think it's pronounced oh, Gooms. Let me see. Oh. I think this woman is so beautiful. beautiful. She has three children. She I watch her. Remember how Garcella I always tell you, I just want to be that kind of woman that gets up and does politics. Yeah. She, she's she the woman that. that does it. Okay. So okay. I watch her Instagrams and I'm always like, this is so dope. She's a mom, she's a talk show. She actually also has her own company called My Little Coco. Oh, really? And it's like um, for children, like ba bathing stuff, Aww. like lotions, hair, hair stuff. And I just think she's so cool. So me and my sister always go on her Instagram and we're like, oh my God, you see she posted this? And I was like, the day I have a baby, I'm literally gonna import her stuff from the UK. Oh. And I just wanna try it out. I love it's that. always nice to have That's best really friends. Right?